that and then a wall sit and then crunches what's going on boys and girls i hope you are having an awesome life an amazing time so this is a beautiful beautiful monday from bangalore and i thought although monday is like the world chess day i should start with a instructional video of course not mine this is definitely not mine this is kind of god level you know um some of the previous videos that i did y you can only be so much certain about yourself that you can only attempt these things but it's an awesome compound movement that i've learned i not sure in my lifetime i'll be able to do this feat because this is pretty tough but um and I, neither am i challenging you to do that do it at your own risk but this is this is kind of beyond everything you know like all those uh, youtubers or mr olympias and, and fitness folks out there who um share the knowledge they, they don't tell you this secret you know uh, it's a compound movement that does so many things it works on your back your glutes, your uh, trap muscles, and also your core. Um, and with the, with the possibility or a hint of uh, kind of working a bit too much on your spine as well. So let's just go over it and then watch it. So what happened, I found this and it was such an instructional video, my friends. Um, hope you'll like it. So let's just watch this. Yeah, pull it. Come on. Come on, man. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Now, here I just pause to show you. See, you've been doing it all wrong, my friends. Your back should be bent. See, this is some master of deadlifting or this compound movement, these guys, and he's doing it absolutely perfect form your back should be like a bow you know uh, when, when it's completely pulled back just before you release the arrow it should be that much bent so that that's you so corrections you know keep your corrections going on this is the one wrong thing you've been doing and all your gurus have been telling you wrong but yeah, if you're like me, you know, you're at the very beginner level sort of, then you can stick with the basics of keeping your back straight. Yeah, but other than that, let's just watch it, yeah. Yeah, now, now, now if you can see, this is where the stance changes. It becomes kind of a wall sit, and then you... It, it, I don't know what sort of muscle group it involves pretty much everything and bone and tendons and everything. It's a whole body workout, that's pretty much what I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That 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 full extension of the back, you know, you can't be straight. You gotta be tilting behind a bit. That's also important. Yeah, and keep doing this. Keep doing this as long as you don't feel some severe pain in your lower back when you know that you've kind of not only worked your muscles, but also worked your uh, lumbar bones uh, at the bottom side of your spine, uh, lumbar discs. Yeah, so you keep doing it, you know, unless you have some severe pain and kind of can't can't stand still. That's what they say. Beyond extreme, beyond your limit, you gotta push the limit, my folks. So, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, it's God level. Huh? Oh my God. Yeah. So th that's pretty much what I've been telling uh, everybody who's been asking me that uh, how to go to that next level, although I'm never at the next, I'm not even at the beginner level. And I've been telling that you've got to push the limit, my friend. I mean, you've got to go beyond the unconvention, beyond the conventional, and then do something unconventional, you know, like uh, bench pressing, deadlift, everybody does that, and then a wall sit, and then crunches. Why don't you mix all of them together into a single movement? So if you see here, we just saw around maybe a minute, a minute and a half of a video uh, where the whole exercise were performed and it was pushed beyond extreme. And 
that was it. I mean, he, he couldn't even stand up. I mean, if you saw the last part of the video and you saw that he couldn't even stand up. So uh, that sort of uh, motivation you need, that sort of tactic, that sort of postures you need. And the most important takeaway from this video is the form, you know. For all those folks who say forms don't matter, watch this video, my friends. You've been doing it all wrong. You've been doing it all wrong. You gotta jiggle and wiggle the bar when you pull it up and pull it down. And you gotta bend your back. And you, I mean, it could be possible that you don't have the flexibility required. I mean, let me just get somewhere where we see, uh, you know, the amount of, yeah, see here, the amount of bend you see here, like with my mouse, if it's captured at all. You might not be having that much of flexibility in your spine, but that's all right. Keep trying, because if you keep trying, someday you'll achieve it. So that's pretty much what I wanted to let you know in case you're not doing the deadlift sort of thing. That's fine. Go do your chest days today. Happy chest day to everybody. And if you are doing this, then at your own risk. Just because I share doesn't mean go and try it, okay? As I said before, disclaimer, this is God level. It's not meant for all of us, okay? So have an awesome life, folks. Work out and keep watching your diet. Until next time, ciao.